So I'm going to start here by clearing off all of the countertops in my bar area, getting rid of any trash that I need to throw away and putting any items that need to go into the pantry. So now I'm going to go ahead and put up the dishes that are on the drying mat and they have been draining just a bit and so I went ahead and made sure they were completely dry and then put those items away. We are getting ready to paint our kitchen cabinets white. So if you see the white on the drawer behind me, we are testing out colors. I really like Sherwin-Williams Pure White, but because we have a discount at Porter Paint, our local um, paint store here, we decided to go with them. And so I'm going to try to find a color that's as close to the Sherwin-Williams Pure White as I can find. You see here, I had to take a break to allow Dr. Chloe to examine me. She is our family doctor, and so she had to give me a shot. So now I'm going to unload the dishwasher and any dishes that didn't dry completely, I'm going to go ahead and dry those and then put all the dishes away. So I love this Tupperware set which was a gift. I love that all this Tupperware can be contained inside of this large carrying case and I don't have to worry about it being a mess under my cabinet because I can stack each piece inside each other and then organize the tops as well.
So now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the dishes and washing them. And I like to just separate all the dishes, um, rinse them off, and then clean the sink before I run my dish water. And so here I'm just going to take the time to really clean the sink out, make sure no food or anything is in it. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and run some hot dish water. Now here I'm looking for Mardon detergent and I realized that it's in my children's bathroom. I like to use it to clean their tub because I don't have to worry about harmful chemicals in their bathtub when I'm cleaning it and it's great to get rid of any residue off of the tub. So here I'm just going to go ahead and get out my Tupperware set and put up any food that was left from dinner. And as you can see, my drawers are a hot mess and I plan to do some kitchen organization. So I do plan to do a video on that when we moved into our new home just, you know, the end of last year. I didn't want to rush into organizing every space. I wanted to take my time and find the right materials and um, you know price everything and make sure I get a good deal and just take my time and sit at my home so when it's done I love it and I won't have to repeatedly buy things because I've tried to rush and get it done here I'm just showing some meal prep containers that I bought and I have been using them to prepare my kids lunches and their dinners and they've been working great so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the dishes and try to finish cleaning now you won't see me cleaning the counters and sweeping and cleaning the refrigerator for some reason i didn't get that footage but i will show you the end result
that loves to collect pots from like their family members that can cook like you know the pots with the good seasoning in it like the red pot that I just put into the dish water that I'm about to wash that is one of my mom's old pots and I absolutely love the pot I feel like that it has so much seasoning that has been embedded into it from her cooking and it doesn't stick and even though it doesn't look like the finest piece of um cookware as far as being shiny or brand new but I'm, I'm telling you like that is some good cooking once the seasoning sits into the pots and so I am not mad at it. So here is the final results of all my cleaning. This is my family room and it's all tidy, all the toys put away and the rug vacuum and kids table put back in its place and the kitchen is pretty clean. I have a few dishes left air drying and once I finish all my other cleaning in the house I'll go back and put those up but this is the final um, results of my cleaning tonight. The last room I'm going to clean tonight is my daughter's room. The clothes that are on her bed are from a mini haul that I did today for both her and my son. Some items that I needed to pick up. And also I have some laundry there that I need to put away. And so I'm just going to go ahead and clear her bed and tidy up the rest of her room. And try to finish my cleaning for tonight. Okay, I'm pretty much done straightening up this room, um, but I'm sure you saw in the video this Christmas tree that's still up, but what I decided to do was just to leave it up year round. My daughter loves Christmas, she loves the lights, and so it has some stuff on it. I think for each season I'm going to decorate it, like I'm probably going to just put some soap, add some snowflakes for winter, and then for Valentine's Day I'll add some more, but it actually kind of has some things I can leave on for Valentine's Day like it has popsicles all her favorites popsicles um this little ballerina I don't know if I'll take it off for Valentine's Day probably so um it has cupcakes um and then these little fillers this is just like an old little Christmas tree I had so it's just like not the greatest um tree because you can see as you can see it's leaning it doesn't have a topper on there so I'll probably find something for the seasons, maybe like a bow or something, some kind of thing, topping, top, um, what do you call it, a uh, tree topper. Um, so, but these I thought would be cute for like winter, so I'll probably leave those on. And then we have like, oh, not bulky ornaments. I bought them at the end of a season, and at the time I was thinking I was going to have a bigger tree for her room, and I was thinking like a nutcracker thing. So I bought these and they're huge and they look, you know, crazy on this little tree just so you can kind of get an idea. So I think, so what I did was, um, I just kind of stuffed them in there. So then it and probably need to go back a little further. But what I may do is just put some type of little skirt back down there and then buy like some type of styrofoam and cover it with like the, um, little, not mesh, maybe mesh, but like the little, um, I forgot what it's called, but it looks like fake snow. And maybe I can cover some styrofoam and stick those in to make like a little 3D thing. Um, I had some cute little stars, which they don't really go with any 
thing, but they're cute, so I might just leave them on there. Again, those were like some big ornaments I bought at the end of the season, thinking that I can make them work. Um, another little cupcake. So I'll probably leave these on. I'll probably take them off until Valentine's Day and decorate it some type of winter theme and then add them back for Valentine's Day. Probably just take off the little balls, Christmas balls. This is the ornament we made for Chloe when she was, I think, like one, two maybe. Um, it looks pretty big. Maybe it was like, no, I think she was still kind of small. I think I traced her feet or something, but it's supposed to be footprints. So we made that, but that'll probably come off because that's just like a Christmas ornament. So I'll just kind of keep you guys up to date on the theme. Um, but I pretty much kind of straightened up her room um it's not really and that's just a light i'm using the film it's really not decorated um yet like that will go on the wall um and this is just a dresser um and then like her other decorations that's her sunday stuff like you can see i have like their sunday clothes hanging on the door um, my husband usually irons in the morning so he'll you know iron the traces stuff but like her, that's her other stuff laid out for the possibilities for Sunday morning. I try to lay everything out so I won't be late. Um, but like her decorations from her wall at the last house have not been put up because I really want to paint her room. Um, and I've been going back and forth um, whether I want to paint stripes. Like, let me show you. She picked, excuse my light. She picked, oh, she picked this these colors is um, paint swatch and so I thought about doing a three stripe um, three tone stripe of wall like either accent wall or like around the perimeter of all of the all three of these walls and then doing this wall in the lightest color or either the darkest color and then I thought about just doing a two tone with the bottom two on these three walls and doing the lighter color on this. I hadn't decided, but anyway, either way, we're gonna paint. So I don't wanna hang up anything until we paint. And you can kind of see, cause this is like a pink, blush pink, if you can see that. And then so are her flowers and stuff. So this will work perfectly with that. So, and there in the background, it's time for beta. In here doing this filming and cleaning and they need to be taking a bath so i think i'm gonna sign off whatever i didn't get to tonight i'll do on tomorrow so good night